conosco através das redes sociais e aqueles que nos visitam em especial. Peace of the Lord. Let's open our books. First Samuel, the first book of Samuel, chapter 17, just one verse. The verse 22. First Samuel, chapter 17, verse 22. We're only going to read the first verse. The word says, And David left his supplies in the hand of the supply keeper, ran to the army, and came and greeted his brothers. Then, as he talked with them, there was no. We thank you, Lord, for the marvelous presence, which is you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord, for the songs. For the gratitude in our heart, we bless you for this joy. And we ask that your word complete for each life, each family. For any person that's in this place watching, we ask for your blessing. Speak to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Brother. Reading the text, seeing how the Lord has spoken to us, especially these two uh, last Sunday morning, the Bible school, we see that the surf, the life of the surf, is a, it's a life of trials, of battles. And what's interesting is that it, this is not from now. Not from one, ten years ago. The history of the church, the history of the servant of the Lord is the history of trials. It goes from Egypt, come down. And then uh, enemies arose. But, but it's interesting to say that Although the life of the server is a life of trail, we also have the blessings from the Lord. Every, every time that enemy is rose, the son of the Lord always prevails. The, the servant that maintains faithful, obedient, the Lord always gives victory. And here in the text, it's no different. Sometimes the, the trial is so big that we ask, And this time I don't know if it's going to go and sometimes the, the trial is so big that we think that it's so big or it's big for us that we think that way we question sometimes we even On one side, the Israelites, the other side, from Philistines. If I, so, besides being big and strong, he was a strong, good fighter, warrior, and that I'm, I'm, I'm certain that, although the word doesn't say, Now, we thought Goliath is from one side, we don't have anybody on this side, and now so if our king is afraid of him, not alone, not, 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 not much less us. And we think that way, but, but God doesn't leave his servant. Un But you can feel alone, but you're not alone. But even on the fire, 
E a palavra fala hum. que Gessé, Gessé pai de Davi, hum. ele fala assim, Davi, vai lá ver como, como os teus irmãos estão. Vai lá, Davi não podia lutar ainda. Davi era apenas um mancebo, um jovem, um adolescente jovem. E Davi prontamente diz, eis bem aqui, meu pai. Eu vou lá. Bora, eu vou aqui, preparou, vai lá, leve isso aqui. Pergunta para eles como é que eles estão. E o Senhor, meus irmãos, Pai, Deus Pai, And the God. quando Ele olha a nossa batalha, Ele falou a mesma coisa para o filho dele. Vai lá ver como é que os meus filhos estão. Go see how my, my children are. Interessante que o texto que nós lemos fala que quando Davi, ele vendo toda aquela situação, o verso anterior, que apesar de nós não termos lido, fala que o povo de Israel, os filisteus, os dois exércitos, the the two army, they were já estavam prontos para a batalha. Were ready for the battle. E apesar do povo de Israel, And, the people from Israel tendo toda aquela incerteza, were all in in their hearts, não havia outra opção se não mudar. Not Another option other than fight. I have to fight. I can't get away from it. And David from he from and David hearing that. David he he leaves everything that he was taking with him and he runs where he, that battle was taking place. To ask if everybody was okay. You are here tonight. You have no idea what your trial is, what your problem. I don't know what, what your trial. But Jesus, through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, He left everything to ask, to, just to ask if you're okay. To ask if you're okay. Brother, that trial that you're going through, are you okay? And that And it's up to us to say, Lord, I'm not good, Lord, that, that trial, that, it's, it's smashing me, it's hurting me. But interesting, that David had no idea, at least we imagine like that. David didn't know what the brothers or the siblings were. Many people. Where, where, where are this? Where are David's siblings? But David, but David knew exactly where this, his siblings are. And the line, and the army line. The, 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 but David knew where, he, where they were. The Lord knows where you are. You came into the battle now. The Lord brings what David brought to the siblings. He brings the, the, the food, the water. And the word, the trial that we go through, that sometimes we go and forget about the basics, which is to eat to drink something, and I say that physically and spiritually, but the Lord knows exactly where you are in your battle, knows exactly and brings to you, to you tonight, as brethren, the, the service in the presence of the Lord, it's not, not gathering people. It's a day, it's an hour. Martin, you, came here, you came here tonight because God has set an encounter for us. But Lord has set up a meeting, an encounter for us. And He knows where you are in your trials. And interesting when we see that, that David, he goes over there, he takes stuff, the food, he asked them if he asked his siblings if they were okay, but before all that, the one that fights at the end is David, the people of Israel, they were in a mountain, 
the Philistines. And the other one, and in the middle there was a valley. And, go, and who goes to that valley? And who goes to fight? Your fight is the Lord. Interesting that in the first verse, in verse 17, the Philistines gathered their armies together, battle and together at Soko, a city called Soko, which belongs to Judah. But the people were on the top of the mountain. The enemy, they want to take us in the middle, the middle of the thorns, where you cannot walk, where you hurt, where it bleeds. But we are kept in the top of the mountain because who, who fights our battles is Jesus. And at the end, David says, he fights that battle. And there's an interesting text. In verse 46, it says, the, the Lord says, not with a sword, no, there's no shield, no armor, nothing like that for Jesus, for God, because the the warriors for the Lord. This trial that you're going through, this war that you're going through, in your work, at home, that's a son, that's a kid that's away from the Lord, or the, or the husband, the wife, the, the Lord is over. The Lord is the Lord of the army. It's a, a, a victorious army. You came here tonight because God set up a counter with you, your trail. It's hard to understand that sometimes. Sometimes I say that. Three words that. It's wait, trust, and rest. But we know that in the trial that we're going through, God is with us, is with us, rather in the fight. The Lord is not only to give us victory in this, in this earth. Where soon we're going to hear. We're going to hear our call. The Lord wins our battle so we can go ahead. The, war, the Lord wins. He makes us to stay in the way because his main goal is for us to be with him in the eternity. So if you go through the so the Lord has no benefit for you. But the Lord is opening a door for you. It's giving you a, a victory because his wishes it's my, my, someone from my family does not serve the Lord. So it's for you to pray for that. If you need a work, you need to have a door open. So the, the Lord will open the door for you. But soon we're going to hear the Lord calling us by the name. And then, so this trial that you leave today, you're not going to even think about it. You're not going to even know that you were wounded in the battle because the Lord would change you completely. Our bodies, our minds, our hearts all transformed. And on the eternity, it's all, all joy. The Lord showed tonight in a battlefield that was a family. And this family fought, was fighting, was fighting. And the resources from that family was, was diminishing, was decreasing. And the family was asking, do we, 
they think we're gonna we're gonna win this battle. Are we gonna be victorious? And the moment that they plead for for help, immediately the Lord sent angels. He sent many angels. A legion of angels. And those angels. And they, they swept, swept the enemy, destroyed the enemies. Because the Lord is not the Lord that makes things halfway. Remember that. The Lord is still there. Battle is part of a war. And the Lord is war. Before you enter in this battle, the Lord is fighting your war. And the word says, and the, and the vision says that family reached the victory. And at the end of that trial, the angels say, If you're going through your trial tonight, this is not for one of your family. I'll take this for me. I know that most people here all of it. I'm, I'm going, going, I'm going through some, some difficult issues. So when the angels, they were saying, the Lord sent us. The angels were saying, the Lord sent us because of your obedience and dedication. You're going through trial. Glorify the name of the Lord. But I don't know. Glorify the name of the Lord. Because the war, the war, because the war belongs to the Lord. And it's through your seeking, your prayers, your plea, the Lord will act. And for all the trial, there's an end. In the name of Jesus, he, he, has, he has declared the victory. Let's uh, sing a song. And you're gonna and you're gonna pray for the Lord. You're gonna trust and you're gonna pray.
Let's have another word of glorification. We are your servant, the Lord. Because we're in the battle. We praise the Lord. Because we're For everything you've done. Because you are. In the name of Jesus, amen. Jesus. Glorify the Lord. Glory. Because you are, our hope is to be in the one that in eternity. Because the church is prepared for you. We praise the Lord. Because we wait for this big day, the day that you come rescue us, Lord. We praise. Because all the trials, all, all, the, all the sickness, everything that's coming through to you, you people, all of this will end. We're going to live eternity. We praise you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let's stand up. And God gave a revelation that we can pray for those that they need the help from the Lord, a renewal, a blessing. You that came in this service, you can ask on your knees or stand up. So we pray for the church. So we can renew our hearts, uh, our commitments, to renew all conditions and our choice, the choices we made for the Lord. And that we can leave here sealed with the blessing of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Holy, holy is the name of Jesus. Children, my peace be with you. Our, our God thunders over you tonight. In my voice, there is power in my voice to determine your victory. And I'm operating a blessing of cure tonight. Only, not only on the physical, I'm touching your body that's a temple of the Holy Spirit, but I'm curing mind, hearts that have been hurt by the battles of this life. And I tell you, kids, Take possession of my blessing, of what I'm operating, delivering forgiveness because my son has forgiven your lives. Go, continue in this way. It's a long way to go, but I'm with you. And I tell you that soon everything will be over. You'll be with me in the glory to live eternally. Adore my name when there's not going to be any pain, no sadness. All the tears will be dry. My servant, you came here tonight screaming for help. Your help came. Your help, your, your Lord is here. Your God is here. And I tell you, your victory has been declared. When you get up from being on knees, you will feel how light the light of liberation that I gave you. Enjoy, because tonight I prepare a banquet and I serve it to all of you. My angels were here. My angels served you the banquet. You'll be here fed and strengthened. Your souls 
are free. Lord, find my name because I'm operating in something that the world cannot do, the doctors cannot do, the specialists of this life cannot do, but you, oh God, can do it. And tonight was a big battle for you to be here. But my angels were sent and they fought for you. And here you are, obeying my voice, receiving a victory. Go home. Be joyful in the presence of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the name of the Lord. Confirm, Lord, your good words. Keep your people preserving our faith. Preserving our call, our opportunity to be eternal in Jesus. Let's do a prayer with you in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. So there were there was a surgery and op we are dependent on the Lord and the Lord recognizes us. The Lord knows where, where those who need him. Lord, here I am. I'm not anyone, but I'm, I'm with you. He's everything for us. Amen. The Lord can send the angels to operate. That's the benefit to be in His service. I'm gonna be here uh, online. It's not the same thing. Um, so to be in the service in the body. It's a benefit for the faithful. The Lord showed a, a lady very worried with some changes that has been that has been changing on the behavior of one of the kids. Keep change, teaching my concept and bring it to my house because though that, that cannot be done. That doesn't know. I will, I will provide the victory and they will be preserved forever. Father and mother, there's always going to be father and mother. We can give him a device. Yeah. As long as you can, don't give up on your kids. Don't give up on your kids. Prayer, fasting, only God. Pray for him or her to be in the presence of the Lord. Never give up. Kids. Uh, I'm, I'm in inheritance of the Lord. The instructions are here. On Dr. Day. Insist. Yeah. Some tomorrow they want something, the joy will come. Don't give up. That the Lord gave you. When you present Him on the altar of the Lord, you, you are give it to the Lord to, to take care. Our, our role is to the Lord receive our adoration to you. We praise the Lord for everything you've done in this service, for the gift, spiritual gifts, for the songs that were sang, for the prayers that were done, 
the best in what because we can hear your sweet voice. We're going to leave here tonight closer to you, loving you more, loving this work, loving this project of salvation. We bless you for this opportunity because we're privileged to serve a God. We bless the Lord. Take us in peace. Is there pray we do, thankful, and hopefully in your amen. In your name we say the wonderful grace of our Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet consolations and eternal consolation of the Holy Spirit can be poured upon us for now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Tomorrow we're not going to have our, our Sunday Bible school. The church is invited to participate at the Sunday Bible school in Hallandale. It's not going to be, it's going to be at 10 a.m. So brethren, we need to get up a little bit earlier. We're not going to have the, we're not going to have the, the rehearsal tomorrow. Please prepare, 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 prepare everything. Nine o'clock, take it. Yeah, those. Ten o'clock will be there. Fasting nine o'clock. In favor of the Lord. Yes, sisters. Man. Tomorrow at 10, so 11.30, a special service with our brother. So, to all the peace of Lord. Tomorrow, peace of Lord. Any questions regarding the day tomorrow? Tomorrow? No, peace of Lord all.